In the first five minutes of Through My Window 3, looking at you, you might have guessed the finale. Is a happy ending in sight for Raquel and Ares? Certainly, they do. Is the interference of Ares' family and other events an unnecessary strain on their relationship? Although Raquel easily gets rid of Green Flag Gregory in the third and final film of the trilogy by making it very clear that she is still in love with her ex, Ares and Vera have a hard time getting over each other because their union is important to their family's businesses. As a result, Raquel and Ares continue their affair behind closed doors until the very end, when critical choices must be made. What does the New Year's Eve feast entail? At the combined New Year's supper with both families, most of the important storylines converge. Both Vera and Ares are in love with other people, therefore Ares is prepared to convince her that their connection is fake. Ares correctly points out that this is absurd, and Vera eventually agrees with him, although she first proposes that they act as if they are together so their families would be pleased. Nevertheless, Vera is unable to face her father with the truth, so she maintains the pretense and hopes that Ares will comply. But he doesn't. Instead, he solemnly apologizes to everyone before vanishing. At long last, Artemis picks himself. Artemis learns of Claudia's emergency admission to the hospital when they are having dinner together. Despite her precarious state, she is having the baby. He wants to leave dinner to be there for her, but his father wants him to stay so the business agreement won't be jeopardized. This is ridiculous because no one would be insulted if he left to attend his child's birth. Fortunately, Artemis makes up his mind to go out on his own and goes to the hospital, where he meets up with Claudia's entire family. Anna drugged Rackle for what reason? On the spur of the moment, Anna decides to spike her drink with her antidepressants at the publisher's party after seeing a message from Ares on Rackle's phone. There was no planning involved, this was simply an angry outburst. Anna still holds Rackle responsible for Yoshi's death, despite the fact that it is completely not her fault. It's evident that she cannot bear to watch her find happiness. We all know that all romantic dates take place in the cemetery, so when Rackle wants to leave to meet with Ares there, Anna immediately regrets her behavior. But Rackle downs her drink and passes out in the house since she isn't paying attention. In the end, does Apollo wind up with Victor? At the same party, Apollo's accomplice Victor makes the rather amusing decision to reconcile with his ex-lover in Apollo's presence. The answer is no, Apollo does not marry Victor. Daniela, on the other hand, forgives him the moment he crawls back to her. Do Ares and Rackle perish? The climax of Through My Window 3 builds to a Romeo and Juliet scene, but it's clear that the only purpose of it is to get a beautiful aerial image of the pair holding each other as if they were dead. But it's all an illusion, and they really make it through unscathed. Let me show you the way. After being named Artemis's godfather, Ares is devastated that Rackle will not be returning to Stockholm to meet him at the grave. He calls Rackle one final time on the way to the airport, but she responds with incoherent wailing, which he interprets as a sign that she is in danger. He knows she is still at the house since he went to see her earlier and her mum informed him she hadn't come home from the publisher's party, so he goes looking for the house and smashes in to rescue her. As Ares approaches, Rackle accidentally falls into the pool. He jumps in to save her, pulling her to the side so he can administer CPR. However, he soon passes out from his severe chlorine allergy. Ares finds Rackel in the hospital five days later, and he finds her alive but bewildered. Even though Vera and Diego are now legally a couple, the business deal with Vera's family went through, and Claudia was accepted into the Hidalgo family. Isn't it remarkable how much can transpire in only a few days? Anna will not be continuing her writing career despite the phenomenal success of her book, which is dedicated to Yoshi. She now plans to relax and enjoy love after all the time she spent trying to understand it. Rackle forgives Anna for drugging her, and the two of them leave a book at Yoshi's monument as an expression of their sorrow and understanding. The film concludes five years down the road. Rackwell and Ares have recently moved in together. Everyone is doing okay, the children are maturing and the families are getting along. The good news is that this should end the need for us to see these films. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.